Ladies and gentlemen, a recent survey shows that millions of Americans are struggling to put food on the table. And you know what, y'all? This has been going on for quite a few years. I have done stories where the food banks, the lines will go five miles out, filled with people trying to get food. And that has happened in my state and several, many other states in this country. And I've done a few stories. It's just been a long time since I've done a food insecurity story. That's what they like to call it, you know, but when it's black people, it's poor, poverty. <laughs> but when it's other people, it, the, the word becomes food insecurity. So anyway, let's get into this story. Millions of American families struggle to get food on the table. Report fines. Just putting three meals a day on the table was a struggle for millions of people in the U.S. last year. That is pretty sombering. So there's a new report that came out from the U.S. Department of Agriculture that found hunger in the U.S. rose sharply in 2022. The report found that 44.2 million people lived in households that had difficulties getting food on the table to feed everyone in 2022, up from 33.8 million the prior year. Those families include more than 13 million children experiencing food insecurity, a jump of nearly 45% from 2021. These numbers are more than statistics. They paint a picture of just how many Americans face a heartbreaking challenge last year in struggling to meet basic needs for themselves and their children. The U.S. Secretary of Agriculture, Tom Vilsack, oh boy, said in a statement, the findings reverse a decade-long decline in hunger and food insecurity in the U.S. And they reflect the loss of several pandemic-era measures designed to strengthen the social safety net this is according to Elaine Waxman, a senior fellow at the Urban Institute who studies food insecurity and federal nutrition programs. A lot of the programs that had buffered people's experience during the pandemic were retired or rolled back in some way. Those programs included expanding child tax credit that gave families with kids extra money, temporary increase benefits from SNAP, and free school lunches for every child. At the same time, food prices and housing costs have shot up. Yes, it has. I mean, the housing prices are outrageous. And they said there is an increasing number of Americans are working in unstable gig economy jobs, like delivering groceries, driving for rideshare services, and completing tasks on demand. Yeah, well, people are going to do what they have to do to make it out here. They are. And the people that were doing those very same jobs were the ones that steadily worked during the pandemic. So all of these things converging, we have a lot of people who are living on the edge. Yeah, you sure do. There's a lot of people struggling out here. And then you got a president. He don't want to focus on that. He wants to focus on what's going on in Ukraine, Israel, and focus on migrants. And you got people right here, born and raised in America, and they can't make men, you know, ends meet right now because it is a struggle out here for many. I mean, the food prices are outrageous. 
it, it just seems like every time I have to do grocery shopping, the food prices are going up. It is absolutely ridiculous. In its report, the USDA found that nearly 7 million households were so financially squeezed last year that they had to skip meals at times because there wasn't enough food to go around. Almost all of these households said they couldn't afford to eat balanced meals. Some 381,000 households with children also experienced pangs of hunger, skipping meal, uh, meals or going the whole day without eating. Mm -mm -mm. And this is when your children need to have that kind of nourishment, especially when they're growing. So they also found in their research that children who experience food insecurity are more likely to experience worse health outcomes down the road. So, and of course, in development issues. And they also found that children that have less to eat are hospitalized at higher rates. So households with children they have a significantly higher rate than the national average of food insecurity. So the rate of hunger, they said, doubled for both Black and Latino households. And really nearly for white households as well. So now food access advocates said the findings underscore the importance of protecting social safety net programs. Right now, there are concerns when it comes to the fate of food assistance programs such as WIC, which serves pre uh, pregnant mothers and young children up to the age of five. Since the pandemic era increases to SNAP benefits ended, more families have been turned um, away, you know, from SNAP, but they are going to WIC for help. So we know more families are turning to programs and find themselves needing support from WIC, who may previously have not been using WIC. Some lawmakers have proposed funding cuts to WIC benefits, even as the program needs additional funding to serve the increased number of families that are seeking assistance. And you know what the worst part? I bet you a lot of these immigrants that cross the border with toddlers and babies, I bet you they're getting assistance. So there could be cases where WIC runs out of money if Congress does not give them additional funds. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all gonna have to tell me what you think. I mean, I know everything is outrageous, but it, it doesn't help that there is a president in office that would much rather spend, you know, spend his time on non-citizen issues all kinds of foreign issues and dealing with foreigners coming into the country than doing for the people who elected him, got him elected into office. You know, he doesn't seem to care about that. But when election time comes in 2024, all of the people he's assisting in Ukraine and Israel and these immigrants coming across the border None of them can vote, not unless they got dual citizenship. If they don't have that, I would say probably the majority of them can't vote here. So look at what this government is doing. And you got all kinds of reports coming out about how bad Americans are struggling these days. Even people with two income households are struggling. Y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. 
Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.